here with uh, Frost and Sullivan's best practices team, uh, where we try to search out and recognize uh, exceptional performers in, in a number of markets. And today, uh, we're talking with Julie Castile from IBEX, the Chief of Strategic Accounts and CMO. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have been doing uh, recently, but also digging a little more into what differentiates you guys and how you earned that Company of the Year award. Yeah, certainly. So Nick, thanks for uh, having me today. Uh, and thank you. We are so, uh, we are just so proud of the award. And, um, you know, we thank you for your recognition of our efforts. So look, when we originally set out to be in Jamaica in our first nearshore market, we had a commitment to the prime minister of bringing 5,000 jobs to that region in five years. And I remember standing there the moment our CEO committed that. So, um, you know, and we knew we could deliver on that promise. So I'm proud to say that we now employ over 6,000 people, in, you know, across Kingston and Ocho Rios. So Jamaica, you know, in and of itself has just been, uh, you know, just an amazing region for us. At the same time, we were ready to develop our bilingual capabilities. And, you know, we wanted to enter into a near source solution uh, in order to give that to our clients as well. So we went to Nicaragua and it's the same thing. We committed um, very strongly into that region. Um, and I'm happy to say that we committed heavily um, and, and have 2,500 employees um, today. Once again, we're not going to be shy there. Uh, we want to kind of take over the world, right? And so uh, we want to be the leader with over 2,000 employees in that region in the next two years. So, you know, the key to all that growth, which I think is the most interesting, is that it is based on client confidence. So we opened every one of those uh, regions with an anchor client, and we've grown additional lines of business ever since. So we plan to dominate, you know, that's our, uh, our goal is to dominate and be the uh, employer of choice in all of the markets that we serve. Um, so yeah, we've been very busy and um, in the near shore markets for sure. So IBEX is a tech-led BPO organization. We offer direct marketing, online acquisition technology, and end-to-end -end customer engagement solutions. And we operate 33 customer experience centers around the globe, namely the U.S., Nicaragua, Jamaica, Honduras, and several across the Philippines. So we have a very cool WaveX technology platform that really is the foundation for our BPO 2.0 service offering. And I look forward to um, sharing that with you later on in this conversation. Um, IBEX Nation is 27,000 uh, employees strong um, and growing. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the conversation as well. We've seen a real fast pivot um, and growth to digital first, you know, high growth clients that are experiencing a huge demand for their products and services. And specifically, we've really built our business around being able to help these fast growing new economy brands scale rapidly. Um, and what's interesting is that we're seeing a lot of similar characteristics in these companies. Number one, um, they're spending the lion's share of their own time and energy on the development of their application product services. We do um, serve companies that are also transforming to, um, you know, their, their digital, to a digital first world. So these might be large blue chip, blue chip companies that are digitally transforming. And we saw a lot of that during the pandemic, um, especially, you know, consumers had to change their buying patterns because they couldn't walk into a store, right? So then they had to go to a, you know, digital way of purchasing products and solutions. And so we're providing a lot of these large blue chip companies that are digitally transforming to a, you know, a new service model. Um, and we're doing that by providing them, you know, very high level products and services and solutions and, you know, very, you um, very effective performance in the at the same time. So, yeah, that's been a big push of ours. And um, you know, over the last couple of years, we've had sixty new logos, of which you know the lion's share of those are in that digital first 
um, group of clients. So um, we are certainly being recognized as a company who has a very leaned in approach and um, a great service model for that client. We created this uh, solution set called our WaveX technology, which is part of our BPO 2.0 strategy. And today that solution set is really the hub of our technology development and innovation at IBEX. So that platform has AI built into each stage of the customer life cycle and really empowers the agent interactions and provides a better customer experience. What do some of those technologies look like? So number one would be, you know, our training simulator. So when an agent is sitting in a training class, as I said earlier, we're trying to simulate as live of an environment as possible in order for them to come out of that training class with a high level of confidence that they can provide what the customer's looking for. Second would be coaching, right? How do we provide dynamic and real-time coaching? So we have a tool called Inspire that we've developed that gives them that real-time coaching. Monitoring and, you know, continuing uh, evolution of their productivity, of their the solutions that they're offering. We have a um, social reputation management tool we developed that um, is highly customizable Highlight gives you immediate feedback. Reflex, we can provide, we can give, you know, send surveys out to the agents and they can analyze the customer feedback through, we can analyze it for our clients through this reflex tool. And then something that we call round and um, virtual FMS or floor management system, where the agents can get immediate feedback um, in the moment where they are you conversing with a customer and they can get immediate feedback to in order to provide them a better service. So all in all, I mean, if you if you bring all that together, what happens is your speed to green or you know path to proficiency is much swifter and much faster. Absolutely. And that's what helps our clients become more competitive, you know, in the markets that they're in. So you could tell I could go on and on and on about it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we just have a, I think we have a really good uh, methodology around developing new products and solutions. And again, and, and we're putting that agent front and center um, in that entire life cycle as we develop. Yeah, well, okay, now this may be my new favorite question. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave technology on to this one. But, you know, look, you're right. I mean, competition is, is, is fierce for talent. And so, you know, two of, you know, the things that we are very focused on, number one is that we have, you know, we're, we have a, a, an obsession with customer, you know, delivering the right kind of customer experience. And we want to do that in these highly immersed and branded centers. And so, you know, number one is, look, you know, Ibex Nation has over 25,000, you know, screaming, raving um, employees and, you know, big fans of Ibex. And one of the ways that we, we measure that is we look at things like retention rates and we look at things like, you know, agent referral rates and, you know, where we have a global referral rate that is, you know, kind of off the charts. So we have a, you know, employee NPS factor yeah. that we look at because we want to make sure that we're continuing to to, um, you know, measure and manage how our employees are feeling about us. And we do that and, and, and by, develop, you know, we provide just amazing centers for them to work in. And, what, and you know, I, I do want to talk about work at home in a moment with you, but, you know, yeah. in, in center experiences, look, we provide, um, you know, captivating environments. We provide, you know, high energy environments. We provide places where there's a lot of community, you know, ways that they can gather, you know, in, in community rooms and where they can, you know, they're sitting at, they're sitting at a, you know, kind of a sitting kind of, you know, for eight hours a day and in a customer contact, um, you know, orientation. So we want to make sure that we provide them with um, centers that in most cases emulate the brand that we're servicing. So when clients walk in, they feel an immediate affinity to, you know, what they're looking at. And then that gives the agents an idea of, you know, how, you know, they kind of get indoctrinated into that brand as well. We also want to be, um, you know, the employer of choice, as I said earlier, in, in all the markets that we serve. So we do that by making sure that we are providing them a lot of learning and development 
right out of the gate. One of the things that we have learned, especially in nearshore markets where you have a highly educated agent, um, in some cases they're you know underemployed, so jobs yes, that we can bring to those regions are, are very important. Um, and so we want to make sure that we continue to evolve their um, experience with IBEX. And so we provide them a lot of learning and development um, opportunities from day one. We kind of say, hey, you know, this is what a career at IBEX could look like. And so, um, you know, we hear that we, you know, from a competitive perspective, um, others may not be doing that, but we feel like it's very important to help drive, um, you know, and develop leaders, right? You've got to develop future leaders, especially in these, you know, near and offshore markets. So, um, you know, I think what we do is we, again, that, that putting that agent first, um, it, it allows us to uh, draw the best of the best. It allows us to put IBEX in the, you know, employer of choice category. Um, and it allows us to, you know, just hire agents that are going to be, you know, a, provide a very, very strong um, customer experience and solution to our clients. <laughs>
um, and then yet another you know level of skill set that we can tap for those kinds of opportunities. Listen, our we listen to the heartbeat of the clients, right? And 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 what they're telling us and what they're seeing out there. And so um, what we're hearing is that our BPO 2.0 is, you know, it's a it's a very defensible, you know, strategy, and it is a um, a, a, sol- a solution set and, and a, even a mindset of saying, look, we've got we're going to be super leaned in to these companies that are looking for, um, you know, high growth and agility and the ability to scale. Um, we're going to be a um, partner to companies who are digitally transforming because we have a lot of best practices. Um, across several industries that we can bring to the table um, to to help them do that. And, you know, we are um, public company, as you know, so we went public uh, because we just didn't have enough to do. We went public (laughs) in the middle of a pandemic. Um, And I'll tell you, it is, um, you know, we're about 450 million in revenue, 450, 500. And so we're that 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 perfect size of a company that can that that is super, like I said earlier, very leaned in from an overall company perspective. And yet we've been vetted by some of the world's most valuable brands. Right. And so from an operational perspective, we have our operational chops about us. Right. Because we've had to. Um, and then we also have that op- that ability to just, you know, really go and evolve and ideate and, you know, develop new things with our clients. So it's been a great it's been a great, uh, great place to be and, and a great run, you know, for Ibex. You know, I think what what's next for us is that what we continue to see clients ask for and evolve to is looking for partners that are going to deliver that seamless on demand yeah. omni channel support. Right. That is not going to go away. And I think that, um, you know, if you think about that, what, what we look at and say, you know, if you if you go back to what delivering that kind of support looks like, it's really um you know, looking at how companies engage with their customers. So we do a lot of analysis in our business intelligent and analytics organization, whether it's churn analysis, whether it's effort, you know, effort analysis, customer effort, all those types of things. Um, I think we're going to, you're going to see more of that coming from us, right? So that we can provide our clients a lot of insight um, to what their customers, the behavior of their customers um, because not only has the use of those digital channels increased, but um, the ability to leverage those traditional Absolutely. channels together, I think, in an integrated and seamless way um, is, is just as important. So um, I think what that is doing is bringing about the need for a different type of partner, um, a BPO 2.0 type partner, um, you know, one that with enhanced solution sets that can help companies, you know, really analyze their customer experience and then deliver um, on creating just great experiences. So you're going to see more of that from us. Um, and um, we've got some things up our sleeves that uh, you'll hear about soon. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's just, you know, becoming that end to end, becoming more of that end to end partner who can scale for our clients um, and provide those unified solutions. Um, I think you're going to see a lot more of that out of Ibex. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how you guys continue to leverage, you know, all of the digital transformation, the software, the technology, the agent enablement strategies. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all comes together and how you keep building one on top of the other to to sort of deliver for those clients uh, who are looking for a new kind of uh, brand uh, engagement, sort of customer uh, centric philosophy, and uh, it's going to be really good. So I'm uh, happy to talk to you and hopefully we can do this again. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I, I promise you'll be the first to know when we have uh, when we have uh, a, a something new to shout about. But it, it'll be soon. So um, thank you, and again, thank you for your support of Frost. And uh, like I said, we could not be um, happier about our award, and um, you'll continue to see growth in those nearshore markets as well. Absolutely, well deserved as usual for Ibex. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Nick. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>